Beginning with materials for this tulip headband, we have yarn in three colors white, green, and blue. And I will use 3.5mm hook, darning needle, and scissors. So the pattern of this tulip stitch is multiple 3 plus 2. And I want to have 19 tulips, and that means that I will need to have 59 stitches. And that will give us 30 centimeters of the tulip part. So let's start off with making a slip knot. Take your white yarn and then wrap it around your forefinger. Here you can see a layer X. Take your hook under and then over and pull it out. And here you have your slip knot. Now I'm going to hold my working yarn using my pinky and this is how I'm going to hold my work. Now let's start making a chain. I'm going to take my hook like this and pull through the loop right here. And here you can see this little V right here. This is our first chain. And then make the next one. Here's our second. Third. Fourth. And we need to make a chain of 59. So just keep working your chains, just like that. So here I've made 59 chains and I wanted to quickly show you guys how to count your chains. Right here on your hook you can see there's a loop. We're not going to count it as a chain. And the first chain is actually this one right here. This is going to be 1 and then here's 2, 3, 4, 5 and you're going to count all the way through until this point. And this one right here, here's the first V, it is going to be your last chain. So by now you should have a chain of 59 and then go ahead and make one more extra chain right here. And then we're going to turn on this side and you can see this little bump right here. Here's one and here's two and here's three. We are going to insert our hook into this second one. Here's the first bump and here's the second. This is called a back loop. So insert your hook into that back loop take out your hook now we have two loops on our hook take your yarn and pull through two here we've made our first single crochet stitch through the back loop now let's find the second one here's the second back loop insert your hook into that stitch take out your yarn and then yarn over and pull through two now let's keep going here's the next back loop take out your yarn yarn over and pull through two. Now let's find the next back loop right here. Take out your yarn and pull through two. And here's how our single crochet row should look like. So from now on keep working your single crochet row and you should have 59 single crochets in the end of this row. I'm currently near the end of my single crochet row and I wanted to show you guys how to count your single crochet stitches. So right here in the beginning you can see that here's the first V stitch and right here you can see the legs of your single crochet and it is actually your first single crochet stitch and here's the second one, here's the third, fourth, fifth and you're going to count all the way through until this point and this stitch is actually my 56th single crochet. And right here I've got three stitches left, so this last stitch is going to be 59th single crochet. So now let's go ahead and crochet together these last stitches. I'm going to insert my hook into this back loop and make my single crochet. Here's one. Here's two. And here's the last back loop, which is my 59th stitch pull through two and now we are ready to start the next row. So make your chain one and then turn your work. And we're going to start our second row of single crochets by inserting your hook into this very first stitch. So insert your hook, you can see on your hook there's a V. Take out your yarn, now you have two and yarn over pull through two. Now let's find the next stitch right here. Insert your hook, you can see this V right here. Take out your yarn and yarn over, pull through two. 
Now let's make the next stitch. Insert it just like that. Take out your yarn, yarn over, pull through two. So now continue working your second row of single crochet and I will meet you in the end of this row. I've got two stitches left and you can see that the last stitch is smaller than the other ones but it is as valid as the rest of the stitches so let's just make our single crochets right here pulling through two of the loops and here's the last stitch I'm going to just insert my hook into the stitch as usual take out the yarn and pull through two and then I'm going to make chain one and then cut off the yarn. Take your hook out, tighten it, and this is how your work should look like. Now for the leaves, take your green yarn and make a slip knot. So I'm just wrapping around my four fingers and making my slip knot, just like so. And then yarn over, and we're going to hold this thread using our finger. Now take your work, and this is where we left off. Turn your work onto the other side. And then take your working yarn and we're going to make a standing double crochet into the first stitch right here insert your hook into the stitch you can see the v stitch there and then take out the yarn now you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two now you have two loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through two here's our standing double crochet stitch now yarn over and we're going to skip one stitch and make into the next stitch a double crochet. So insert your hook into this stitch, take out your yarn, now you have three, yarn over, pull through two. And before finishing your double crochet stitch, take your short end tail and put it like this. And then yarn over and finish your double crochet. So by making that move, we are hiding our short end tail while working this row. Now let's make chain one and hide our short end tail. So take your hook just like that, pull through and then make your chain one. And then yarn over and we're going to make a double crochet into the same stitch right here. So insert your hook into that stitch right here. Take out your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, and then take your short end tail and put it like this, and then yarn over and pull through two. And here's our first V stitch. Now let's make the next V stitch, yarn over, and we're going to skip two stitches. One, two, and make a double crochet into the third stitch right here. Yarn over, insert your hook into the third stitch. Now we have three, yarn over, pull through two, find your short end tail and hide it and then yarn over, pull through two. Now let's make chain one, just like that. And then yarn over and we're going to work a double crochet into the same stitch right here. So insert your hook into the same stitch, take out your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, take your short end tail, put it like this yarn over pull through two now yarn over and skip two stitches one two and work your double crochet into the third stitch so i have already made my yarn over and inserting my hook into the third stitch taking out my yarn yarn over pull through two finding my short end tail and hide it behind my work and yarn over pull through two now make chain one and hide your short end tail just like that here's my chain one and then yarn over and work your double crochet into the same stitch right here insert your hook take out your yarn you have three yarn over pull through two hide your short end tail yarn over pull through two and here's our finished v stitch now yarn over and we're going to skip two stitches one, two, and insert your hook into the third stitch and make your double crochet. Take out your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, take your short end tail and hide it just like that and yarn over, pull through two. Now make chain one and then yarn over and work your double crochet into the same stitch. And here's how our v-stitches should look like. Now from this point it is going to be quite repetitive, 
just yarn over and skip two and work your double crochet into the third stitch so just pull through two twice and then make chain one and then yarn over and work your double crochet into the same stitch just like so and you should have your v-stitch once you've made it to the end of the row i've got my one two three four five stitches left i'm going to skip two and work my double crochet into the third stitch just like that pulling through two twice and then i'm going to make chain one and then yarn over and work my double crochet into the same stitch and now I'm going to make yarn over and I'm going to skip one stitch and make into this last stitch a double crochet right here insert your hook, take out your yarn yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two and then make chain one and cut off the yarn so for the tulips I'm going to choose this blue color you can take any other yarn of your choice and I'm going to make a slip knot and then I'm going to yarn over and hold the thread with my finger and I'm going to take my work and I'm not gonna turn it this time actually I'm going to find the first standing double crochet that I've made in the beginning of this row here it is and I'm going to insert my hook into this first stitch now right here on my hand I have a slip knot with my yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook into this first standing double crochet and I'm going to work one double crochet stitch so insert your hook into this stitch take out your yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and now take your short end tail to hide it behind your work and we're going to make chain one take this short end tail and then make chain one and now yarn over and we're going to work five double crochet into this chain space of our v-stitch right here insert your hook take out your yarn yarn over pull through two and before finishing your double crochet take your short end tail hide it and yarn over pull through two here's our first double crochet stitch now yarn over and work four more into the same chain space so insert your hook take out your yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two here's two and then here's my three double crochet stitches here's four and i'm making my last fifth double crochet stitch and now just take out this loop and we're going to find the first double crochet stitch insert your hook into the first double crochet stitch take your loop right here and we're going to pull through the first loop just like that and then right here we're going to make chain two here's one and then here's two now yarn over and we're going to find the next chain space right here and by the way we're going to hide this short end tail while working our row so yarn over and work five double crochet into this chain space so insert your hook take out your yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two here's one double crochet and then here's two yarn over insert your hook and make your third double crochet and then fourth then yarn over insert your hook and pull through two twice and here's my fifth double crochet i'm taking out my hook leaving this loop a little bit bigger than usual and i'm going to insert my hook into the first double crochet stitch so here's one two three four five insert your hook into the first just like that and take this loop and pull through and then make chain two so here's one and then here's two and now let's make another tulip so yarn over and work five double crochets into the next chain space right here of the v-stitch here's one two 
three, four, five double crochets and then take out your hook, lift this loop a little bit bigger and then find your first double crochet right here. Insert your hook into the first double crochet and take out just like that and make a chain of two. So from now on just keep working your tulips and work your five double crochets into each of these chain spaces and I will meet you in the end of this row. Here's how my tulips are looking like so far. I've already made 18 of them and right here in this last v-stitch I'm going to make my last 19th tulip. After making my 18th tulip right here I've already made a chain of two and I'm going to yarn over and work into this last chain space five double crochets. So insert your hook and here's one and the last one five taking out my hook and then I'm going to find this first double crochet stitch and take this loop and pull through and then I'm going to make chain one and then yarn over and I'm going to make a double crochet stitch into this last stitch right here. So insert your hook into that stitch, take out your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and then make chain one and cut off the yarn. Take out your hook. For the fifth row, take your white yarn or the color that you've used to work your first and second row. And on this row, we're not going to turn our work, meaning that we're going to start from this point right here. So make your slip knot and then we're going to find this standing double crochet that we've made. Right here you can see the V stitch. Insert your hook into that V and take out your yarn. Now you have two loops on your hook yarn over, pull through two. And this short end tail we're going to hide behind our work. And now insert your hook into this chain space and work your single crochet. So yarn over and pull through two. Now we're going to work a single crochet into this slip stitch of this tulip. So you can see right here is a slip stitch. Insert your hook, take out your yarn, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to work two single crochets into this chain space. So insert your hook, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. And one more time, insert your hook into the chain space, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. And now we're going to repeat the same thing that we've made right here. So insert your hook into the slip stitch, and work your single crochet. Yarn over, pull through two. And then into the chain space, work two single crochets. Insert your hook, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. And one more time. So by now, as you can see, we are working one single crochet into the slip stitch of the tulip and then we're working two single crochets into the chain space. So just keep working your single crochet rows and by the end of fifth row, you should have 59 single crochets. I've already made 56, here's my 56 stitch and now into the slip stitch, I'm going to make my 57 stitch and then into this chain space right here I'm going to make my 58th single crochet and the last 59th single crochet I'm going to make into this stitch right here and then I'm going to make chain one and turn my work and now we're just going to work our regular single crochet row so insert your hook into this first stitch right here and work your first single crochet and then just go ahead and make a row of single crochets and by the end of this row you should have 59 single crochet stitches so here i am near the end of my sixth row and let's finish this row together i'm going to make my single crochets and here are the last two so here's one and here's the last one and this stitch is actually the 59th single crochet stitch after that make chain one and cut off the yarn take out your hook and here's our finished sixth row 
And now we're going to work the sides of our headband just like here. Make a slip knot with your white yarn and take your work and we're going to make a single crochet row all the way through here. I'm going to start by inserting my hook into this stitch right here. Take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. And this short end tail I'm going to hide behind my work. The next stitch I'm going to make right here. And then here's our double crochet part. I'm going to make one single crochet into this part. And then the next single crochet I'm going to make into this part. And then the next single crochet will be here. And then the next one probably here. And then in this white part and the last single crochet I'm going to make here. So I've made in total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 single crochets in this row. And now I'm going to carry this end tail and make a chain 1. And then turn your work and now I'm going to skip one and start working my second single crochet row from this stitch. So skip this one and insert your hook into the second stitch and make your single crochet. And then just keep working your single crochet until the end of the row. So here I am near the end of my row. I've already made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 single crochets. And here's the last stitch where I'm going to make my last 7th single crochet. And then make chain 1 and we're going to start the next row. And right here we're going to skip one stitch, the first one and work our single crochet row starting from the second stitch. Just hide your end tail, skip one and insert your hook into the second stitch and just work your single crochet row. So by the end of the third row you should have six single crochet stitches and then you're going to make chain one turn your work and you're going to skip the first stitch and start working your single crochets from the second stitch and in the end of this row you should have five single crochets so you're always reducing by one so i'm currently near the end of my fourth row and i've already made one two three four single crochets and right here i'm going to make my last fifth single crochet and i'm going to make chain one turn Skip one stitch and start working my row from the second, right here. So one single crochet, two, three, four. So we have reduced by one stitch. And then chain one, turn, skip one stitch and start working from the second. One single crochet, two, and then three chain one turn skip one stitch and insert your hook into the second one and two single crochets chain one turn your work skip one and work your one single crochet and then chain one and cut off the yarn take out the hook and we are done for this side. Now make the same triangle on this side, just don't forget to start off the first row with making 8 single crochets. And just feel free to rewatch the video where we've made this part. Once you've finished making the triangles, we are ready to start crocheting the border along with the straps. First, make a slip knot with your white yarn. And then we're going to start crocheting the border starting from the tip of this triangle. So I'm finding the highest point right here and inserting my hook, taking out my yarn, yarn over, pull through two. So I've made my first single crochet and the short yarn tails I'm going to hide behind my work. And then I'm just going to start making a border of single crochet, just like that. The next single crochet. And then right here. 
and once you've made it to this point it is going to be much easier make your single crochet right here and then you can see that from now on we can see the defined stitches so just make into each of them a single crochet stitch this is how my border looks like so far so from this point keep working your single crochets and i will meet you right here so here I am, we are at this point where we do not have defined stitches anymore, but don't be scared, just keep crocheting your single crochets, just like that. And then make one more single crochet right here, and this is the highest point, let's just make one more single crochet. And now we're going to make a strap, so work a chain of 60. Here's one, two, three, four. So here I have my chain of 60, and now we're going to find the third chain from the hook. So one, two, and three, right here. Yarn over and insert your hook into that third stitch, take out the yarn yarn over pull through two and then yarn over insert your hook into that same stitch take out the yarn yarn over pull through two now we have three loops on our hook yarn over insert your hook into the same chain stitch yarn over pull through two now we have four and then yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch Take out the yarn and yarn over, pull through two. And now we have one, two, three, four, five loops. Yarn over and pull through everything, just like that. And then make a chain of three. One, two, three. And then yarn over and insert your hook into this stitch right here. Take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have three, yarn over, make another one, and pull through two. Now we have four, yarn over, insert your hook into the same loop, and yarn over, pull through two. And once we have five, yarn over and pull through everything. And then we're going to find this loop right here insert your hook into that loop take out the yarn and pull through both of the loops now we're going to insert our hook into this space and take the yarn out just like that and we have two loops yarn over pull through two so make a single crochet and here we have a cute little bubble now we're going to work slip stitches through the back loop so turn this chain and you can see the first back loop right here insert your hook into that back loop and make a slip stitch and then here's the next take your yarn and pull through both of the loops and just keep working your slip stitches here's the next loop insert your hook and pull through everything so keep working your slip stitches through the back loop and i will meet you right here so i'm getting closer to this part and i'm going to make my last slip stitches through the back loop just right here and this stitch right here is going to be my last slip stitch through the back loop and then right here i'm going to make a single crochet stitch the short end tail I'm also going to hide it and from now on I'm just going to make my single crochets. So I am mirroring this side right here. And once you've made it to this point just keep working your single crochets into each of these V stitches and then right here make your single crochets and I will meet you here. So I'm getting closer to the tip of my triangle and I'm going to make this last single crochets. 
here's my last single crochets at the highest stitch right here and now we're going to work our strap by making a chain of 60 so just work your chain and once you've made a chain of 60 let's crochet a bubble so find one two three here's the third chain from the hook yarn over and insert your hook yarn over pull through two and then yarn over make the next one yarn over pull through two now we have three yarn over take out the yarn yarn over pull through two now we have four and let's make the last one take out the yarn yarn over pull through two take your yarn and pull through everything and now make chain three here's my three chains yarn over insert your hook into this loop right here take out the yarn yarn over pull through two let's make the last one now we have five and take the yarn and pull through everything and now let's insert our hook into this loop right here take the yarn and make a slip stitch so pull through everything and now we're going to make a single crochet so insert your hook into this space take out the yarn and then yarn over pull through two and then we're going to make our slip stitches through the back loop so here's my first stitch I'm going to insert my hook into that stitch and make my first slip stitch and from now on just keep working your slip stitches through the back loop and once you've made it to this part I've got two stitches left and I'm going to work my slip stitches through the back loop and here's the last stitch and I'm going to cut off the yarn leave about this distance and then take out your hook now take your darning needle and we're going to imitate this v-stitch right here so insert your needle into that v-stitch take it out and then we're going to find on this side and insert our needle into that stitch so that we will have this v-stitch here's this v and on the back side of our work we're going to make a knot so insert your needle and just pull through and now just go through the stitches to hide the yarn tail cut off the rest of the yarn and now we are ready to wear our headband 